Hey, it's Johnny here from uh, Up North Outdoors. I'm going to be covering a few things on uh, this weekend for KCC TV on the Icebox Days here in International Falls. Right now I'm out at the uh, Rainy Lake Visitor Center and we're going to be going on a moonlit snowshoe hike. So we're going to head outside and uh, listen to the ranger out there and give his little speech on what's going to happen tonight. So uh, I'm going to get going out there. Head on over a short ways on a connecting road. Then we'll hike back on the Oberholter Trail right back to this fire ring, which will be our, our final destination. Uh, for those of you that, as we're going, if you start to get a little chilly uh, or uh, you kind of had enough, it's very easy to turn around and hike back on the wreck trail. It leads you right back to the visitor center. And we'll regroup before we, we do the, the little more strenuous portion of the, uh, the Oberholzer Trail. But at any time, don't hesitate to, to grab my attention. Uh, Ranger Steve is also joining us here tonight somewhere. Over here. Ranger Steve, are you here? Right here. Okay, he's there. Excellent. So, <clears throat> folks, welcome on this, this really, really great night here. The clouds are just starting to come in. Oh, uh, just a little bit ago, you would have been able to see the see the moon through the, the trees and the clouds, and it might break out while we're, we're walking along the, the wreck trail as well. And just nights like this in the, in the heart of winter give us a chance to, to reflect on our place in, in, uh, in the country here at Voyagers and International Falls but also on our, our place in, in the planet of, of where we fit in the, the grand scheme of the night sky. And so we'll talk just, just a little bit about, <clears throat> about what that means for us being here at Voyagers on these, these cold winter, winter nights. But we'll kind of stay active. We're gonna, the goal is to, to, to learn to snowshoe, and I'm going to give you a few tips here in just a minute. Does anybody have any questions before I give you a couple snowshoe tips? You having fun? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, folks, thanks for thanks for coming out tonight and for uh, for uh, <clears throat> getting in the snowshoes and getting active and, and experiencing winter in, in northern Minnesota. Uh, <clears throat> it's been been great going out for the night and, and uh, thanks for for coming out to Voyagers. Uh, feel free to uh, take your snowshoes back to the visitor center and they'll direct you just where to put them down. Help yourself to some cocoa and. If you want to spend a little bit by sitting by the fire and whatnot, just have a great evening. If you need anything, just uh, grab me or one of my volunteers working tonight. Uh, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. Sure. My name is Bill. I just went to the snowshoe hike, moonlight. It's a little cloudy, cold. It's nice. Seeing a lot of people, a lot of fun. Uh, good thing to do for icebox days when we're cold. It was a great time. My name is Erica Mitchell. We just got back from the Moonlight Snowshoe for Icebox Days 2016. It was an absolute blast. I'm not frozen. The weather was beautiful. Snow was awesome. Had a couple technical difficulties, but we survived. And we're warm enough and ready to go home. Have a nice night. Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm Jen, and this is Victoria. And she loved her first time snowshoeing. All right, we're here at the beginning, at the starting line of the 5K Freezer Gizzard Blizzard Run. And as you can see, we have some- Frost Queen. <laughs> some very devoted fans out here. Uh, you guys want to introduce yourself? Uh, Testicle of the Frost Queen. Penguin from the North. Penguin from the North. Penguin from the North. And the uh, Snow Queen from the East. And the Snow Queen from the East. They're all out here to cheer on the runners. And uh, hopefully it goes good today. I think we got a pretty good turnout. We got some runners over here.
race is about to begin. 5K, Freezer Gizzard Blizzard run. He's announcing the beginning of the race here. See, they got a long range rifle to uh, signal the beginning. There he goes. And they're off like a tree. Few people out to cheer them on. It's always nice. Yeah. Anyway, so we got a finisher here then, yeah. and uh, it was good. He's he's limber. <laughs> still, Not a nice still going. Got time for to get warmed up for the 10K. He's ready to go for more. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Another finisher coming in here with. A perfectly frosty mustache. All right, thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, my name is Dean Kalman. I am uh, one of the board members of the International Falls Community Wellness Action Council. We are a recently formed nonprofit group that is helping to try and promote health and wellness based activities in our community. Uh, this year, we organized the first Wellness Expo in conjunction with the Freeze Your Gizzard Blizzard Run. We hope you enjoyed uh, meeting some of our local business people and vendors in our community. Thank you for stopping by their booths and signing up for our drawing. Um, we would uh, like to thank all of the vendors who took time out of their weekend to participate in our expo as well. Uh, they are committed to our community and a lot of them help to promote ideals of health and wellness. So we will start with our drawings here. The first drawing that we have is for a bag of, I believe it's three bars of the goat milk soap donated by uh, Elizabeth Pendergrass. And Ken will do the honors of drawing our name. You must be present to win. We don't have the budget as a nonprofit for me. <laughs> okay, and our winner for this is Anna Kelman. You can do my snap one too. You can do my snap one too. The snap thing. Oh, okay. okay. It's a blanket, a backpack, and a tumbler. Okay. From Snap Fitness in International Falls, we have a gift pack, a blanket, a backpack, backpack and a cup. a cup. Okay. Here we go. Ken will do the honors once again. <laughs> And the winner is Terry Krause from Duluth, Minnesota. All right, our third drawing is for the Igloo uh, Cooler Tote, uh, complete with a number of healthy food items put together by our committee. <laughs> And the winner is May Ann Kaler, International Falls. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, our next item is a gift pack uh, for runners, including BioFreeze, TheraStick, running gear, yak tracks, winter running gear, hot pad holders, etc. And we will draw for that a little big deal. Work. All right, and our winner here is Susan Palm from Loman, Minnesota. Okay, and now 
now the one that probably everybody is sticking around for. This is uh, donated by our Community Wellness Action Council Committee. It is the Garmin Bluetooth enabled Vivo Active Watch. It allows you to track your activities with running, biking, swimming, golfing, walking. I believe Haley said it also can receive text messages, so it's a fully interactive smartwatch. If you don't win, Ken Anderson is his name. <laughs> right, here we go. Okay. Is anybody here from Ely, Minnesota? Ooh. What's your first name? What's your last name? And you are the winner. And again, once again, thank you all. We have people here who've traveled from near and far to participate in our Please Your Gizzard Blizzard Run. And we're not done yet, so I'm going to hand it back to Todd. A couple more minutes. Um, we just walked in the door, our most loyal and supportive runner, Bob Connor. Bob, would you like to say a few words? Or? Come on, Bob! In fact, he told me today if you can't run the 10K, you might as well run it all. <laughs> well, I'll make this real quick, unlike my running ability. <laughs> uh, I would just like, I, I told this story last year, but uh, the we first year that we had the race, I think it was a beautiful winter day, about 27, 28 degrees Fahrenheit, not much wind. The second year was the whole different story. We showed up, there was 29 below outside, and it went till it was 72 below zero. Oh. And it was really amazing. Secretly, I was thinking, boy, I hope they run around the building and call it a day. But there were some, some Canadian runners here, like, like Ray here in Georgia, that wanted to do the whole thing. They ended up cutting the race in half. But I thought the, the coolest thing about that was they didn't cancel the race. And they haven't canceled it for 36 years. So that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I just want to say it's the icebox of the nation, you know, but there's a lot of warm, wonderful people here, and I really appreciate it's all really the help stupid, and the sponsors <laughs> and the volunteers. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>